Now, staying in Washington, systemic risk is a pretty big theme as well this morning. The Senate Banking Committee will grill FDIC Chair Sheila Baer and others on the best ways to contain it. The question is, at what cost? Bloomberg's Lindsay Arendt brings us details now from Washington. Well, listen, Scarlett, we all know the government over the last two years was forced to either bail out, uh, arrange the sale of, rescue several firms. Of course, we're talking about Bear Stearns, Merrill Lynch, AIG, IndyMac, Fannie, Freddie. And the idea here is not to let the list go on. And as a result, in hearing rooms all over Washington, lawmakers are looking for ways to make sure that the government is never put in that position again. To that end, FDIC Chair Sheila Bear has a solution. She's uh, going to be on Capitol Hill today testifying about that very plan. She wants Congress to create a financial company resolution fund that would essentially force industry to shoulder its own risk. Bloomberg News got a hold of her prepared remarks for delivery today in which she says the government should impose assessments on large or complex institutions that recognize their potential risks to the financial system. She goes on to say that this system also could provide an economic incentive for an institution not to grow too large. That's the idea. Contain the risk. President Obama backing the idea at his press conference last night, saying it should be modeled on the FDIC's insurance deposit fund with the goal of providing working capital to cover losses when the government has to step in to unwind a failed firm. We may need to make sure that there is a similar mechanism in place for uh, some of these other far out transactions. Uh, so if you guys want to do them, then you've got to put something into the kitty to make sure that if you screw up, it's not taxpayer dollars that have to pay for it. Uh, but it's dollars coming out of your profits. Of course, it all has to do with the larger debate over systemic risk and who should be that prime regulator. We'll hear more about that in today's hearing before the Senate Banking Committee. Back to you, Peter. All right, Lindsay, thanks for that.